All right, you guys, welcome back. Today we have a video on how I tune my snare. You guys on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube have just been asking me how I do this, so I'm going to break it down in this video. I have a challenge for you guys, though. Let's hit 1,000 likes within the first seven hours of this video being out. I know we can do it. I know we can. Just hit that like button. Just hit it. All right. As far as the snare that I have, I will leave a video right up here where you can see the full breakdown of the snare drum, the specs and everything. But um, in this video, we're just going to dive into how I tune my snare. Now, a quick disclaimer, this is not like the golden one rule on how to tune snares. This is just how I do it. And uh, yeah, let's start off first with the snare head. I actually have on a Remo Red Clear Power Stroke P77. That's actually linked down in the description below. Great snare drum head to get that pop. And um, yeah, so I started off by finger tightening every lug on the snare. And if you guys don't know what finger tighten means, it's just I tighten every one of them as tight as I can with my fingers, all right? So what you're gonna need in this to tune this snare is two drum keys and one or two drum dots. That's what I use. I use both drum keys so I can do like tighten them up at the same time. That way, if my right hand needs more tightening than the left, you actually be able to feel it. All right, so let's tighten all of these up evenly, one at a time, as tight as I can possibly get it without like, like straining the lugs. All right, so let me do that real quick. Alright you guys, so I have this snare drum and I only, I'm only using the overhead mics. So I have this snare drum right now tuned high. You hear it? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back the same thing that I just did, but I'm going to loosen it. I'm going to loosen every lug a half turn. So not a full turn, just a half turn all the way around evenly. All right, you guys, so now um, everything that I just did to the top, it's the same steps on the bottom snare, all right? So you want to finger tighten them and then tighten them as tight as you can get it. Not too tight that you might just break the, the drum head, but just tight enough that you can feel like, okay, if I might go a little tighter than some, you know, it'll be too tight. And then loosen a half turn, or you can even do a full turn it depends on how you want to uh, snare to sound. And now, since I have the bottom and the, and the top the same way, I'm just gonna add one or two drum dots. And uh, yeah. That is pretty much it. I always use this part on the tightest, like I'll loosen it and I'll tighten it up. This controls the snares on the bottom of the snare. And uh, yeah, sometimes I'll go to, because this snare has like, this snare has three different levels and I'll use either the third level or the second level. That is it. That is how I tune my snare. Once again, this was without EQ. This is literally just coming from the overhead mics. And if you're interested in this snare, once again, that video will be in the card. It will actually be on the end screen so you can find out exactly what this snare is all about. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys, uh, your snare drums come out crazy. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit that like button. Let's get a thousand likes within the first seven hours of this video being out. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.